the book launch is uh, recorded for our usage. If you don't want to be recorded, just please uh, uh, close your camera. Uh, so I welcome the audience that is right here in our new center for uh, innovation and learning design and the audience uh, from a distance uh, that are, are, is joining us both from Israel and uh, around the world. Um, then I'd like to start with a greetings um, uh, of uh, Professor uh, Judith Weinberger, uh, Director of the Kibbutzim College of Education, uh, Technology and the Art. Uh, please. Thank you, Inat, Soraim Tuvim. Good day, participants, both in Israel and abroad, and all our colleagues, Shalom from Tel Aviv. It's a great pleasure to open this event with all of these participants meeting to celebrate uh, the launch of uh, this important book, Hybrid Learning Spaces, dealing with one of the most relevant themes nowadays, hybrid digital learning. We all have been experiencing the complex and uncertain reality that the COVID-19 pandemic has brought. And in Kibbutzim College of Education, like I believe all of you, we have done our best to maintain the routine of studies for our students in the WUCA world and even found some advantages for education at all levels. Last year, although the medical limitation enabled us face-to-face -face learning, we decided in our college to teach in a hybrid way in order to preserve what we perceive as the achievements of distance learning referencing faculty members' technological and pedagogical competences, as well as positive attitudes towards varied instruction. From the analysis of our students' feedback at the end of the first semester of this year, in relation to hybrid, uh, to, uh, hybrid teaching, we found that in general, their opinions are positive, but there are still room for improvements. Additional pedagogical attention is required in order to improve the hybrid teaching. And at the same time, we need to cult cultivate appropriate skills and attitudes among our learners toward uh, hybrid uh, learning. Your book, dear editors, had the great potential to assist us and other educational settings in this complicated mission addressing the pedagogy and the technology and the space design of hybrid learning in various contexts. It provides an academic community with the most important ideas and inspiration to customize the needed solutions. So on behalf of Kibbutzim College of Education, I want to express our gratitude to the editors, Enad Gil, Ishai Mor, Yanis Dip. Dimitriadis and uh, Christian Ko uh, for your professionalism and the effort you have invested in this important task. You have done a great job with this uh, book. Enjoy the session and next time I'm looking forward to meet you face to face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, and uh, I'd like uh, to present uh, our next uh, uh, Greeting, um, um, Eli Shmueli, um, from the director of Meita, the Israeli Inter University Center for e learning. Please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, happy to be here um, at the book launch, hybrid uh, learning uh, spaces. First, I want to thank uh, Enad Gil and Shai Moore for organizing this special event definitely special for us. And to thank uh, Professor Judith uh, Weinberger, director of the Kibbutzim College for hosting us here, and to continue the collaboration and co collaboration between uh, uh, seminar uh, Kibbutzim, the colleges of the Kibbutzim and, and Meital for a long time. A few words about Meital. Uh, Meital is the Israeli, um, Israeli Inter-University Inter Communication Center for e-learning. Uh, we have more than 20 colleges are member with METAL and all uh, eight or nine universities that are partners. 
And our mission, main mission is to, uh, the goal of Mital is to assist Institute of Higher Education, Institute in University and Academic Colleges in promoting the use of learning technologies. Um, I just remember two and a half years ago that this book is one of the outcome of the Mital and Levisky joint webinar. Um, uh, the webinar was about learning environment and before and actually was before the COVID-19 a long time ago. <laughs> uh, it was a very unique to have this uh, uh, webinar and right after that we deal with the COVID so everything can change and we are dealing with different times. In the last few years, we are facing a significant change in higher education in Israel and all over the world. This change is for us to respond and in some cases to lead those changes with the Higher Education Institute community here in Israel. As I mentioned, Meital is uh, collaborate with all of them. As I mentioned in the higher education it was important before the COVID and become dramatically important during and hopefully after the COVID. And we are raising or facing some questions, how to synchronize between physically and virtually learning environment. What are the pedagogical needs for this um, uh, HLS? Uh, how to design both environments, physically and virtuality, and, and collaborate between them, uh, and how the institution management can or should support those uh, directions. Higher education in Israel is facing most of those HLS uh, issue, and we all hope to have some answers today. So thank you all for joining us today, and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Eli. Uh... And yes, we do hope to have a, a long term uh, collaboration with Meital. And um, we've added to the greetings uh, some something from the editors. So um, it's not in the agenda, but if, uh, we thought we didn't put anything to do with uh, just keywords about the book. So I, I want to uh, share a presentation that uh, Shai and myself prepared together. Uh, that is to do a bit uh, uh, about the book. So um, yeah, it's a really exciting journey uh, that uh, started a few years ago. And uh, it started actually in 2019 um, with uh, a workshop, a workshop at ICTEL uh, that Shai, uh, Yanis, and Christian were the organizer. I was the participant uh, in this uh, in this uh, workshop uh, of uh, called hybrid learning spaces, data uh, design, data and didactics, and uh, it was uh, where was it? Uh, it was in Delft. 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 Uh, so this is uh, the beginning of this uh, journey of the book. You know, a book uh, does. Yeah, here the one, by the way. It's nice to have uh, it's uh, tangible, yeah. Not only uh, digital, yeah. It's uh, and I, I today received two copies from Amazon, so it's nice. Um, so three years ago, Isitel uh, with a workshop. Then, uh, sorry, um, we it continued with the budget, a British Journal of Education Technology special issue uh, that. Uh, uh, Anat uh, Cohen, Eric Toff, Norgard, and Shimor were the editors, and a uh, few of the uh, authors uh, among the book as well, and previously in the workshop, were writing uh, towards this special issue. Uh, it was published in uh, 2020, and uh, this is another milestone in this journey. Uh, then it was um, a, a really nice conference uh, with uh, about hybrid learning spaces and future learning spaces with in, in three places um, uh, around Israel and and the keynote from Denmark so uh, here's Sapir uh, College of okay, Sapir College uh, this is Levinsky and this is the uh, University of Haifa and then um, Rike was uh, contributing a keynote from uh, afar this was prior to the COVID-19. Amazing, we were like uh, putting up with a camera and it was really, um, it felt like a, like a special team doing a, a innovation, but uh, it was this, another milestone in this uh, journey uh, of the book. Then um, 
there was an, another uh, little conference in Meital um, uh, that Ishai organized and a few of the uh, institution around Israel were taking part. Uh, it's in Hebrew, so apologies for the people uh, that are not uh, Hebrew speakers. Maybe until the, the end of this day, there'll be a bit more. Um, and uh, another little conference, uh, uh, yet again at Meital, a conference uh, to do with hybrid learning spaces. So- This was during COVID, so this was- yeah, online. Fully online. Yeah, fully online. So the world is changing and we're changing with it, but I think hybridity is here to stay. Um, yeah, so now we are arriving to the book um, and it's nice to see, this is from yesterday, uh, that uh, already 2,800 uh, downloads. Uh, it's only a month and a half or two months old. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's a really current topic. And we uh, I think there is uh, a lot in it. And actually we're really proud of it. So, and, and I think uh, the two other editors are not on board this, uh, this event, but they're with us uh, uh, all, all the way along. So there are three axes uh, to the book, uh, pedagogy, technology, and space design. And different chapters are relating to theoretical part, case studies, or design patterns, uh, both in terms of architecture and education. So it's a multidisciplinary book and um, authors coming from a, a different uh, disciplines, uh, 38 authors, uh, that researchers, lecturers, designers, and architects. Um, yep, uh, Anat is with us uh, here today. 70 chapters, and the last chapter uh, is an attempt to synthesize everything else that is uh, derived practical predictions from the chapter's insight. And Ishai will speak about it uh, uh, in the last short presentation uh, today. Just uh, we'll have a bit of a definition. Uh, so I'm reading it. Uh, so hybrid learning spaces is to do with a context of learning that moves beyond distinction between online and offline spaces, but also challenges divisions between teacher and student roles, formal, informal context, analog versus digital communication. Uh, communication and media and other traditionally separated dimensions. Hybrid learning spaces and hybrid pedagogy offer new complex hybrid breeds and, and as such potentially new possibilities for collaboration in higher education. This is taken from Hilly, Nogod and Ian uh, 2019 um, prior to this book. Uh, so there are much work or not so much, but there, there is work that was of course done before, before this book, and we are learned uh, so much from it. Now there is a yeah, story. This is, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Shai. Shai, yeah. please. So this is just a small story to illustrate what we mean by hybrid learning spaces, because the, the common view of hybrid is what's called high flex, which I think is quite limiting. So this is a story about a girl, let's call her Noah. And she was assigned a task by her teacher to prepare a TED talk. But unfortunately, she got COVID, so she had to stay at home. The teacher said, no problem. I'll open a Zoom and you can do your TED talk remotely. So the girl is sitting at home. Now, part of the talk, she had some activity, some experience activity for the, for, to illustrate the topic. And she needed somebody to do the activity with her. So this is her mom doing the activity with her. So you can see that there's this mix between the on-site and online, right? But there's also the mix between school at home, between school and family, and the reversal or the, the sort of blurring line between who is a teacher, who is a student. Now she's doing the TED talk and the students in class are, are kind of participating. And this, I think, gives a, a, a view of a lot of different dimensions of hybridity. This is really what, what we're looking at. Thank you, Shai. And I think this, this aspect will come again uh, in the few of the other presentations. So uh, thank you, it's really important. Um, 
in terms of uh, our agenda today, uh, so we are writing the greetings and uh, in, in 12, uh, sorry, one o'clock, uh, we'll have a, a keynote, uh, Alejandro Armel, Professor Alejandro Armanelli from University of Portsmouth uh, will speak about designing for active blended learning and teaching in hybrid spaces. Then we'll have a short break. Um, then we'll have a, a four short presentations from book uh, authors and editors. Um, so uh, there were, you can read them through. And then, and of course, it's part of what's inside the book. And we'll end uh, with a, a panel discussion where a few uh, more of the authors will join us from afar. Um, and so, and, and we'll uh, have a like hybrid discussion with both participants here uh, and online and audience both here and online. So we like challenges and this is uh, one of the challenges that we were facing. Um, we'd like also to um, say thank you uh, in advance for, uh, for the Kibbutzin College of Education uh, for uh, hosting us here at the new center. And then, um, and also for the research uh, uh, unit uh, for supporting this event. And um, for Meital, I uh, would like to thank you for this beautiful collaboration and enabling us to do this event as well. And of course, for Springer publication for uh, the journey that we've been together the last uh, four, uh, three years. And um, so uh, thank you all. And I think uh, we'll have a uh, 10 more minutes uh, either to uh, get a coffee or to uh, water and till we start with a, with a keynote.